Welcome to Lesson 10. We're going to be looking at the subject of strong opening bids. So you're going to find you have lots of high card points. Sometimes you look at your hand and it's an absolute picture gallery or it's packed with aces and you find you reach 20 high card points or more. So what we're going to look at now is when you have one of those flat or balanced hands but you have more than 20 high card points. And there are two bids that we're going to look at to reflect when you have 20 to 22 high card points and when you have 23 or more high card points. In both cases we're looking at flat or balanced hands. So the first one of those bids we're going to look at is 20 to 22 high card points. And this is the new bid we're looking at. You're going to open at the two level, opening the bidding to no trumps. Here's an example of a strong flat hand. You've got 20 to 22 high card points here and you've got a balanced hand. You've got one doubleton but you're allowed that and still able to call your hand flat or balanced. So your opening bid on this hand is two no trump, saying to your partner, I've got a flat or balanced hand and my point count is 20 to 22 high card points. Okay, so your partner has opened the bidding two no trumps, so they've got this huge hand over there. What are you going to do? Well, if you remember, we're always looking for 25 high card points in order to reach gain. So if your partner has just announced that they've got 20 to 22, you don't need very much to be able to bid gain. So if you've got 0 to 4 high card points, your bid is to pass as it's very unlikely gain will be on. If you have a 5 card suit, then you're going to bid it at the 3 level. And what that will say to your partner is I've got five plus high card points over here and I've got a five card suit. What would you like to do? And your partner will know that's forcing to gain. It's a forcing bid because if you had less than five high card points you would have passed. So your partner knows they've got at least 20, you've got at least five you're going to reach 25 high card points, game is on, so your partner's going to bid again to game. If you don't have a five card major, if you've got a balanced hand yourself, if you've got five plus high card points, well you'll just bid game three no trumps. If you've got a six card major, you're going to bid game yourself. You know from your partner's bid of two no trump, they must have at least two cards in every suit. That means if you've got a six card major, combined with your partner's at least two cards in their hand, you've found your eight card fit. You know, you go, so with five plus points and a six card major, just bid game, four hearts or four spades. Let's have a look at some of these bids in practice. On this hand, your partner has opened the bidding to no trumps. So they've just told you they've got 20 to 22 high card points and they've got a flat hand. Your hand contains more than five high card points. So you know game is on and you need to give a positive response. You can't pass but your hand is also a balanced and flat hand. You haven't got a five card suit, so your bid here is to raise your partner to game and bid three no trumps. On this hand, your partner has opened the bidding two no trumps, showing again 20 to 22 high card points and a flat or balanced hand. You have five or more high card points, and you now have a five card major on this hand. So you must show to your partner that major, your bid, three hearts, promising five hearts and at least five high card points. Your partner can then decide which game to go to. On this hand, your partner has again opened the bidding to no trumps. So they're showing 20 to 22 high card points and a balanced or flat hand. 
Now look at your hand. You've got five high card points here. So you need to give a positive response. You can't pass. You've got a six card spade suit there. Now I know they don't look that flash, but remember your partner has got an awful lot of points over there. And with any luck, they'll have some nice spades for you. If not, still doesn't matter because you know you've got an eight card fit in the spades. So spades is the place to go to. You're the person who knows you've got six cards in the suit. You know game is on. You know, you go. Your bid, four spades. Straight to that game level, telling your partner you've got six spades and enough points for game. Now we're going to look at another opening bid. And this one is artificial. So you're going to be bidding something that actually has nothing to do with the suit that you mention. And this strong opening bid is two clubs. You might remember when we looked at those preemptive bids, when you had those weak hands, the one we didn't use was two clubs because that had a special meaning. Well, this is that bid. And what it's saying to your partner is, I've got a really strong hand over here. This is a powerhouse in my hand. And I'm telling you, we're going to game. So you must keep bidding until game is found. To use this two club opening bid, you need to have either 20 or more high card points and a very distributional hand. So unbalanced, a very shapely hand. To use two clubs with a flat or balanced hand, you need to have 23 or more high card points. Let's have a look at some hands that qualify for this strong two club opening bid. On this hand, you've got over 20 high card points and you've got a distributional hand. You've got a lovely six card suit there in hearts. So you're going to open that hand two clubs what you're saying to your partner here is, I've got over 20 high card points, and in a moment, I'm going to explain to you exactly what I've got. But for now, I'm just making this artificial bid, saying I've got a very strong hand over here, partner. Bid, and we're going to game because I've got such a strong hand. On this hand, again, this is a two club opening hand. Why? because you've got 23 plus high card points and you've got a flat or balanced hand. So your bid, again, there's two clubs, it's an artificial bid, which hopefully your partner is immediately going to recognize and not leave you in clubs. It's saying to your partner, I've got a strong hand over here. And in a moment, I'm going to explain to you why it's so strong, but you must bid partner, we're going to game. So what do you do when your partner opens two club and you're sitting opposite? Well, the first thing is you remember, on pain of death, you remember it's got nothing to do with clubs and you do not pass. Now, I say you don't do these things, but when you start off, it's amazing the things you do. You just forget and um, you find you're in two clubs and you've got perhaps three clubs between the two of you. Don't you worry. Happens to the best of us. Um, but you, it's a good learning curve, learn by your mistakes, you'll remember it next time. So, partners open two clubs, you've remembered, it's an artificial bid saying, I've got a strong hand over here, what are you going to bid? Well, you have to give an artificial bid yourself if you've got between naught and seven high card points because your duty when your partner does that strong bid is to show how many high card points you have. So if you have a weak hand of 0 to 7 high card points, that's the first thing you must show. And you do that by bidding two diamonds. It's got nothing whatsoever to do with diamonds. It's purely a point count. If you've got eight or more high card points, then you must bid something other than two diamonds to show your partner that point count of eight or more. If you've got a five card suit, you can just bid it. So if you've got five or more hearts, just bid two hearts to say, 
I've got more than eight high card points over here myself, and I've got at least five cards in this suit. Now explain to me what you're shouting about over there and what your big hand looks like. If you've got eight high card points and you've got a flat or balanced hand, well, respond to your partner by going two no trumps to say, well, my hand's flat. I haven't got a five card suit over here to show you, but I'm giving you a positive response here. I'm not bidding two diamonds. I'm bidding two no trumps to say I've got at least eight high card points here. If you've got a minor, so you've got five cards or more in a minor suit, well, you're going to have to bid up at the three level to show you've got eight or more high card points. So your partner's open the bidding two clubs, so your first chance to bid that minor if it's clubs is by bidding three clubs. If your longer suit is diamonds, remember if you've got eight high card points, you're going to have to bid that diamond suit at the three level. Why? Because if you bid at the two level, you're giving your partner the wrong information because that two diamond bid, remember, nothing to do with diamonds, just saying your point count is low. So if you've got eight or more high card points and a long diamond suit, you must jump in the bidding. So your partner opens two clubs and you're going to jump three diamonds to say eight or more high card points and at least five diamonds. Let's have a look at a few of these responses in action. On this hand, your partner has opened the bidding two clubs, saying they've got a powerhouse of a hand over there. Well, you're not getting very excited yourself, are you? Because you've only got three high card points. So your job here is to communicate to your partner your low point count. So your bid is that artificial bid of two diamonds, saying to your partner, well, you may have a whole shed load of points over there, but I'm telling you my point count, it's between zero and seven high card points. Tell me what your hand is. That doesn't mean you're not going to go to game, but you've given your partner the crucial information they need on the strength of your hand. On this hand, again, your partner's announced they've got a very strong hand opposite you. Now you've got eight or more high card points in this hand and so you mustn't give that weak bid, you must make a positive bid. You've got a five card major. So if you bid your major at the two level, you will be saying to your partner, I've got at least eight high card points and I've got at least five hearts in my hand. What do you want to do with that information? So your bid here, two hearts. On this hand again, your partner has opened the bidding two clubs, showing they've got a very strong hand. You've got eight or more high card points, so you must give a positive response to your partner. You don't have a five card suit here. You've got a flat and balanced hand, and so your bid is two no trumps, saying to your partner, eight or more high card points, and a flat or balanced hand. Let's have a look at some of the rebids. So after you've opened two clubs, you're now in the position you've got partner's response and you've got to make a rebid. So your job here is to give your partner a clue about what your hand looks like. If your partner has bid two diamonds to show they've got a weak hand with just naught to seven high card points, well, if you've got a five cards or more suit, you can just bid it on your own to explain that's what your hand is looking like. If you've got a flat or balanced hand, you can bid two no trumps, and that will then show to your partner you've got 23 or 24 high card points. If you've got a flat or balanced hand and you've got 25 high card points or more, and believe it or not, yes, sometimes you do have that many in your hand, then your rebid is three no trumps. So the sequence will have gone two clubs, two diamonds, and you will have jumped to three no trumps, showing you've got a flat or balanced hand, but this time 
25 or more high card points. So you can make game all on your own. What are your rebids going to be if your partner gives you a positive response? So if you've opened the bidding two clubs and your partner is able to bid a suit, they go two hearts or two spades. Well, they will have been telling you that they've got eight high card points and they've got at least five cards in that suit. Well, if you've got three cards in their suit, you'll be able to agree the fit with them, won't you? Because if they've got five and you've got three, you've found your eight card fit. So you can just give them a single raise to say, yes, that's fine, we've found the fit. Now let's press on to game. Your partner knows to keep bidding to game because your opening bid of two clubs said, we're not stopping until we reach game. If you don't have three cards in the suit they've mentioned, so you don't like their suit, but you can bid two no trumps if you've got 23 or more high card points, but you haven't got a fit in their suit. If you've got a five card suit of your own, you can mention it. If you open the bidding two clubs and the response you get from your partner is two no trumps, what's your bid going to be then? So if you've got a five card major, you're going to simply bid it over that two no trump bid to explain you've got a five card suit and asking your partner which game they would like to bid. If you've got a six card suit in a major, well, you're going to be able to jump straight to game in that suit because you've got six cards and your partner by bidding two no trump and response must have at least two cards in that suit. So you know there's a fit in that major, you know, you go, jump straight to that major game, telling your partner you've got six cards in the suit. If you yourself have a balanced hand, well, you can simply raise your partner's response there and put them to three no trumps. You can rebid a minor, but remember your preference is always to try and find a major game or to find game in no trumps. If you have opened the bidding two clubs and your partner's response is to show you a minor, so they answer you with either three clubs or three diamonds, well, if you've got a major suit of your own that's five or more in length, you can mention it. If you've got a flat or balanced hand, you're probably going to be able to bid three no trumps. You can raise your partner's minor in response to their bid, but that really is a bid of last resort. You're always looking for game in a major or to be able to bid no trumps. If your partner's got a long minor and you've got points in the other suit, then three no trumps and making nine tricks is going to be the better bid from you. And if you make no trumps, it is often the better score. Let's have a look at some of these strong bids in the auction. On this hand, you will have opened the bidding here to clubs. Because you've got that strong hand, it's distributional, and you've got over 20 high card points. Now, imagine your partner responds to you two diamonds. They've got a weak bid. What's your rebid going to be? Well, yes, you're going to mention those lovely hearts, aren't you? So you're going to bid two hearts. Don't worry that you're only bidding that at the two level. Your partner knows that two club bid was an artificial bid saying you're very strong and that they have to keep bidding to game. So just bid two hearts, give your partner a chance, give them space in the bidding to now explain what their hand looks like. Supposing they've only got one heart, but they've got five spades, you might end up in a fit in spades. So don't worry about not jumping to look excited in the bidding. Your two club bid was excitement enough and your partner will continue bidding. If we alter the cards here and you open the bidding two clubs, now this time, supposing your partner replies to you and goes two no trumps, what are you going to rebid here? 
Well, if your partner has been able to respond to you to no trumps, you know they've got at least eight high card points over there. What else do you know from that to no trump bid? You know your partner has got a flat or balanced hand. That means they must have two hearts over there. You've got six of them. You know there's an eight card fit and you know game is on. So you can now bid four hearts saying to your partner, yes, I've got at least six hearts over here. I must have six to have that known fit with you and to be able to bid four hearts. With these cards, you would open the bidding two clubs because you've got a strong hand and 23 or more high card points. If your partner responds to you two no trumps, what's your rebid going to be? Well, your partner's just explained that they have a flat and balanced hand and they've got eight or more high card points. So your rebid is three no trumps. You want to be in no trumps, you've got a flat and balanced hand and you haven't got a five card major to bid. So just bid the game, three no trumps. With these cards, you would open the bidding two clubs because again, you've got a strong flat hand. Now, supposing your partner replies to you here, two hearts. Well, that two heart bid means they've got five hearts. That's great news for you, isn't it? You've got four hearts in your hand, so you know you've got at least a nine card fit. So your bid here, show the fit to your partner. Just give them a single raise, three hearts, to explain you've got more than 20 high card points here, you've got a fit in hearts, and see what partner wants to do next. If they've got only the minimum eight high card points, they're just going to bid the game in hearts, but it just leaves room in case you want to get up to a more exciting level in the bidding at the slam level, if your partner's got a bit more than eight high card points. So these slams and bidding to slam, well, very exciting when you get up at this high level in the bidding. To make a small slam, you're going to need to bid in the auction up to the sixth level and make 12 tricks out of the 13. And to make a grand slam, well then your heart really is in your mouth as you put the number seven down on the bidding sheet. You'll be up at the seven level and you'll be saying you're going to take all the tricks. Now throughout this series, I've been talking about how important it is to bid up to the game level to get that game bonus. If there is a slam on, you get a huge bonus for bidding slam. So to be able to bid one of these slams, what you will need is for your partnership to have 32 high card points between you. And then you might have the values to reach that slam level. So in order to work out whether with 32 high card points you have got enough to make a slam, you sometimes need to find out whether there are two aces missing between you. And so we have another artificial bid, which I'm going to introduce to you now, which purely asks your partner to tell you how many aces they've got in their hands. It's called Blackwood. And once you've been using that strong sequence of bidding, if you go for no trumps or if your partner goes for no trumps, they're asking you a question. They're saying, I'm checking out now whether a slam is on. How many aces have you got in your hand? Very important to get these right. You might like to count them on your fingers, but you're gonna answer up at the five level and tell your partner how many aces you have. If you answer five clubs, the lowest possible level after that four no trump bid, you're saying you don't have any aces in your hand. Five diamonds says you have one ace, five parts says you've got two of them, and five spades says you've got three aces. If you'd like more information about slam bidding, have a look on the New Zealand Bridge website. You'll find more information there in the handout for lesson 10. There's also the quiz and answers for you to do, and they really do help in the learning process. If you look under the improvers materials, you'll find there's also a sheet all about Blackwood if you'd like to look at that a little bit more. 
If you've got any questions about this subject, remember, ask your teacher. They'll be only too happy to help. Good luck with bidding out these strong hands and trying to get to slam. Happy bridging.